Pajamas and mimosas. We have a few of our lovely ladies, some friends, some families, and loved ones here to just have some girl talk, discuss some world events, how we feel about certain topics when it comes to womanhood. And our first topic, I wanted to paint a scenario for you ladies. We're going to try and talk about if we're in the club or if we send our significant other to a party, bachelorette party, bachelor party, whatever. How do we feel about them dancing with other people? Is that allowed or? Well, I'll say it this way. Most men wouldn't be okay with you dancing with somebody else. If we talking about salsa dancing, okay, that's different. Y'all face yeah, to face. But, uh, you salsa dance? Yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I like salsa Wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> we know you salsa no, dance. I, guess, <laughs> no, no, yeah. I, 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 I have an issue with that. Completely. I really? think it's that body to body touch, that's too much for yeah. me. I don't mind it. Me either. And I, I'm like, too. this is different because I know when I'm out, mm -hmm. I'm shaking my booty. Y'all seen, I like to shake my booty. And whoever decides to come up and get the booty shake is going to get it. Well, and they but it's going to be respectful. Yeah. Like, I'm going to shake my booty yeah. and I'm going to move on. Just, yeah, so, respectful. Okay, you get you, you know. Hey, excuse, me, excuse me what I'm about to say, but how do you make, I don't know, how do you just make that, the uh, but the private part and the rational respect. But like, I don't, I don't, so my thing is, is I don't feel like, I feel like if you're going to have an issue with your significant other being danced on or dancing with someone at that type of function, you should not allow them to go okay. to that type of function without Agreed. you. Because if that's yeah. the case, I, how, I would dare not tell my significant other to go to a bachelor party and expect and them anything. not to... Yeah. Engage in the activities. The right, but we're all adults. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. he can't tell me what I can and I can't do, That's and vice versa. So the, thing, so the thing, so the thing is, it's about open communication Definitely. with the mm -hmm. person. This is what I'm not comfortable with. This mm -hmm. is what I am comfortable with. Then you reach, you bring it to the table, you reach a common ground, and then it's over. To me, it's small mm -hmm. compared to the things that you would go through in a relationship, a marriage all of that. Mm -hmm. Dancing on somebody, that's just, yeah, either you, gonna you get what I'm saying? Either yeah. you're going to respect yeah. my respect wishes or not, yeah. mm -hmm. you know? And yeah. it just is what it is. And if mm -hmm. you don't, then we, then talk about we it. have a bigger issue. Yeah. I have a question. Hmm. And this one may be a little, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you like, let me go ahead and grab, but everybody might need to go ahead and grab us a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. So, <laughs> Would women today, or would you guys, have relations or sexual relations with a man who has been with other men? Men don't get to try mm. sexual ventures. Preach with that other double men standard. And want to come back over here? It just don't. Women do that. Women do that. It's, women, a, it's a double but standard. But I feel like it is double. They have, but I'm okay with it. Off of double standards. But that is one that a woman can do. Thank you. We can try. We can do whatever we want to do, really. And, <laughs> and it's fine. <laughs> 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 we can do whatever. I said brutally honest now. So, we can do what we want to do, and we can still get a husband because he ain't going to care about you being with no woman. It's going to be a definite no for me. Only because, not even on a basis of how I was raised, I feel mm -hmm. like when I look at a man and I see so much like, Masculinity, just masculinity yeah. and just being strong and, sexy and driven creatures mm -hmm. I just too. think that the way in my mind and the way I was raised to know men to be yeah. for you to go that way and to come back it's going to be very hard for me to look at you the same or how I would look at a, a regular man I think so yeah. so unfortunately um, and we're all adults here mm -hmm. I feel like with another woman there's no penetration involved right. yes, you, exactly. you still keep it's the same dynamic exploring. and when you have yeah. a man on a man there is not the same dynamic at all because men's jaws are stronger so it's going to be better <laughs> but that, that's my reason but that's my reason for real but no 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 hear me out hear me out and I just but just, just I feel I'm like at the end of the day, if you were with a man that has been with another man, are you not gonna wonder if he's thinking about being with a man while 
I don't want him to be. I don't want him to be. I mean, if your jaw is that strong, baby, I can't do nothing for you. I mean, I'm just trying to get my. I'm trying to see how I can strengthen my jaws. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to beat with a man's strength, though. I'm not playing. I'm over here like this. I'm over here like. Enough about the man jaws. I am hot. Let's talk about women. Listen, your version of womanhood, like whatever that means, like whatever made you the woman that you are, the trials, the tribulations, your upbringing, what, what does that look like? What, what do you think contributes to your personal version of womanhood? What does that mean to you? I think when you get older and you go through life situations, um, particular in, in my situation, um, I call it a rebirth because you realize your power, right? We hold wounds, right? So we're able to birth things in a physical, spiritual level as well. So that is my definition of womanhood. It doesn't matter what I go through, who tries to take my crown, I can always evolve, yes. transform, and rebirth anything that I want. And multiply it. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's been a long, 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 long journey. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I struggled with was embracing my emotional intelligence. Yes. Feeling like, you know, like something was wrong with me when I felt emotions. Mm -hmm. And I still struggle with that a little bit today. Like, I don't, I, to this day, I don't like to cry because I feel weak. So. Um, and, but just as I get older, I feel like I'm becoming more in love with who I am, like yes. what we talked about, mm -hmm. becoming more in love with who I am and realizing that I am who I am because of the situations that I went through. Mm -hmm. And I'm owning those situations now because I realize that's, that's what makes me me. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm amazing. <laughs> yes. Once, yes. I, was, yes. I mean, you know. Yes. 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 You woke up like this, hell. Yes. Well, yes. Like this, hell. yes. <laughs> I mean, but literally, like, once, once I began to love who I am because mm -hmm. of, you know, how I was raised and the amazing women in my life, I feel like life became so much better. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate you guys for coming to Pajamas and Mimosas. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoy conversation and our mimosas and our fruits. And until next time.